Mrs. What's that? asked Franklin. It was mine, said Franklin's father. Maybe it will make you feel better. Franklin tried to snuggle the old yellow blanket, but it wasn't the same. He missed his own blanket terribly, and it took Franklin a long, long time to fall asleep. The next morning, Franklin began a search for his blanket. He went to Bear's house first. He looked so glum that Bear asked, What's wrong, Franklin? Did your mother give you Brussels sprouts again? Worse, said Franklin. I can't find my blanket. It's not here, said Bear. Besides, my mother said big bears like me are too old for baby blankets. Maybe you don't need a blanket. Franklin knew that Bear always slept with his stuffed bunny. What about your bunny? asked Franklin. Bunnies are different, said Bear. What's he playing with? A yo-yo. Mm-hmm, there's a yo-yo. He's got some airplanes hanging up on, on his ceiling. Next he tried Fox's house. The blanket wasn't there either. Why don't we play, asked Fox. No, said Franklin. I want to find my blanket. My father says worn out blankets are no good to anybody, said Fox. Fox door. Maybe you should get a new blanket. I did. What's he doing? He's sitting there. He's just sitting there. I like my old blanket, said Franklin. What's that ball doing? Oh, he's just stepping on it. He's not really thinking, he's just stepping on it. Then Franklin went to Beaver's house. The blanket wasn't there. Franklin looked so sad that Beaver said, You can borrow my teddy until you find your blanket. That was nice, wasn't it? Beaver's a good friend. Thank you, Beaver, said Franklin, holding Teddy tightly. That night, when Franklin went to bed, he had his father's yellow blanket and Beaver's teddy, but it wasn't the same as sleeping with his own blue blanket. At breakfast, Franklin's father sniffed and pinched his nose. Do you smell something odd, he asked, a sort of musty old sock smell? Franklin and his mother sniffed, too. Then Franklin remembered, I think I know what smells. What's that smell? What's he doing? He's eating, um... That's the kind of cereal that Franklin eats. It's got bugs and leaves and berries in it. Gross. Franklin reached under his chair and pulled out his blue blanket. Flop! A handful of cold, slimy Brussels sprouts spilled out of the blanket and onto the floor. There's his blanket! He found it! He found it! He's nice now. He's going to be happy now. His mother and father stared with amazement. Look, said Franklin, I found my blanket. I forgot I put it here. You forgot to eat your Brussels sprouts, too, said Franklin's mother. Whoops, said Franklin. I like them. <laughs> Looking a little sheepish. Old, cold Brussels sprouts sure do stink, said Franklin's father. All Brussels sprouts stink, said Franklin. Franklin's mother smiled. I used to hate cabbage, she said. Now that's a stinky vegetable. A Asparagus, said Franklin's father. That's even stinkier than Brussels sprouts and cabbage mixed together. What's that? That's a cabbage. Do I like that cabbage? I don't, well, anytime I've made cabbage, you have not eaten it. I don't think you really like it yet, but maybe someday. You like broccoli? You do? No. I don't think so. I don't like broccoli. I like gnats. You like gnats? Like Franklin, gnats are bugs. No snacks. Oh, snacks. Then Franklin picked up his blanket. I don't care that you are old and full of holes, he said, but you sure do need a bath. That night before his goodnight story, his goodnight hug, a glass of water, Franklin put his father's yellow blanket back where it belonged. He was glad he lived in a house where even old blankets had a special place. The end.